Jump, de jump, jump, jump. Starshine, did we have oh. a nice sweepy weepy? It was great till the achy wakey by the witty kitty. Sorry, kid, but I know you don't want to miss school today. Today's the day you put the sis in the sis boomba. Yeah. Yipe! Jamie G Leader Rush Week! What to wear, what to huh? wear, this, no, this, no, uh, uh no, no. Uh, oh, coat rack, cat rack, what's the difference? Oh, good eggs, you girls went shopping. Hilda did. She needed special eggs for a spell. Uh, mm. a, a spelling bee? I'm in charge of refreshments. Everyone wanted eggs. <laughs> well, I'm darn proud of you girls. You've been making a real effort to not take the easy way out by using witchcraft. You're showing real maturity. Oh, no. And setting a fine example for Sabrina. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Himself? <laughs> ah, the witty little barbs. Salem, where's Sabrina? She's gonna be late for school again. Morning, Aunt Hilda and Zelda, Uncle Quigley. No time for breakfast. Grab something on the way. Have a nice day. Bye, all peace. Well, well, well. And what's our favorite little witchling hiding behind her back? <laughs> it's it's a fashion statement. Right now, it's saying, save me! This thing just landed on my head. <laughs> Sabrina, you're not seriously going to wear that to school, are you? You'll give the entire family a bad <sighs> name. And that's not easy when eight generations have been burned at the stake. Well, then what am I supposed to wear? I've got to find some way to get the JV cheerleaders to notice me. This is induction week. When the junior varsity cheerleaders pick a lowly few from our class to audition for next year's JV squad, God, this could make or break my whole junior high career. Ah, and I thought it was just a funny looking hat. It's more than a hat. It's a statement about individuality. It says, hey, you cheerleaders, look at me. I am Sabrina Spellman, my own person. It sets me apart. It's tomorrow's look today. And for once, I'll have the jump on that snobby Gemini stone. Dear Sabrina, as you know, that hat was the last straw for me. You are way too cool. I can't compete with you, so I have given up. You deserve to be a cheerleader, not me. I've moved to Alaska, where I'm working on the pipeline. Well, gotta go. I'm about to be eaten by a polar bear. All the best. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, very touching. The point is, why do you need a gimmick? Why can't you just be yourself? Uncle Quigley, you are so naive. Junior high is not about being yourself. It's about peer pressure and trendy advertising and all the things that make America great. It's not what I think of myself that matters. It's what everyone else thinks of me. Ah, but consider me enlightened. And if I don't even get the chance to try out for the cheerleaders, I'll be spending another year as honorary mayor of Wienerville. How about a little help here? How about the spooky hmm. jar? A little magic? Sorry, Sabrina, but until your mother gets back from whatever lost city she's digging up, I'm in charge. And I promised her no magic from your dad's side of the family. Besides, you don't need witchcraft to know that cool doesn't come from a hat. Trust me. <sighs> That hat is so awesome! <laughs> what a rad look! You are so cool, even for a seventh grader. Wow, that gym sure has some cool hat, huh, Sabrina? It's like a statement about individuality. It sets her apart. It says, hey, you cheerleaders, I'm Ooh. Jim Stone! I see the hat, Chloe. Thanks. Just look at her kissing up to those privileged pom-pom pumping powder puffs like she's already a member. It's so ick. Ugh, oh, you're right. She's being like a total and complete phony. And she's, and she's so, so good, good at, at it. it. <sighs> Face it, Chloe. The JVs don't even know I'm alive. What chance have I got? Bye -bye. Don't forget, my daddy's yacht, next Friday night. Oh, hello, huh? Smellman. So <laughs> glad to see you've made bail again this Ooh. year. Oh, my gosh. Sabrina, they're coming this way. This is like the most socially significant moment of your entire life. Whatever you do, <gasps> look cool, but look cool. Uh, uh, uh. 
Sabrina? Oh my gosh, Callista Ultra Brilliant, the most socially prominent girl in the eighth grade, is actually talking to you. Oh, this is so cool, I can't stand it. Uh, did I just say all of that out loud? And in superfluous English, Sabrina, a heads up to you. We're considering granting you the, well, some might call it privilege of auditioning for next year's squad. <laughs> we have just one opening for a new member. Most of the squad have to repeat the year. Being a social icon can put such a damper in study time. It's down to a choice between you and Gemstone. Oh. And I mean, let's be honest, Gem is the heavy favorite. Especially since she gave us all cell phones and matching leather jackets. I'm sure you understand. How could I not? However, as part of our SCIPSO, or Snowball's Chance in Palm Springs Outreach Program, you still have one eensy weensy remote, pathetically small chance of being chosen. No matter how unlikely. You hear that? You're as good as in! It's all about class, Sabrina. We'll be making our final decision this week. Until then, we'll be watching both you and Jem carefully to decide which of you has the... Hey, circus folk, cool. So, Sabrina, wanna help me put mashed potatoes in Pie's gym shoes? Ow! Hey, that hurt. <laughs> Harvey can be so droll. As if I would ever do such an uncool thing. Chuh! Put mashed potatoes in someone's gym shoes, right. Okay, how about cream corn like last Ugh. time? Stick with what you know I always say. Ow! Oh. Hey, since when did I become Harvey the human soccer ball? Well, Sabrina, don't huh? let us get in the way of you and, uh, Pele. Until next time, remember, we'll be watching... Y-O-U-U-U! Y-O-U-U! <laughs> Very smooth. And I don't think they even noticed the sock on your head. Don't! <laughs> They've gotta pick me or my life is over. No! 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 Ow! Hey! Thanks. Walnut? No, thank you. Suit yourself. <laughs> yeah! Ow! Sorry, Sidus's. That's okay. It made me forget how much the walnut hurt. Hey! Aren't you Sabrina Spellman? It's me, Norma Alpha Linear from the first grade. Norma? Holy cannoli, it is you. What are you doing here? Just transferred. Gee, Sabrina, I haven't seen you in 6.3 years. Hey, remember when you used to eat paste? Sure, want some? Ugh, no thanks, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> well, I see that you're just as colorful as ever. Thanks, I like to think so. How about raisins? Why, hello, Spellman. Who's your new little friend? <laughs> Norba Alpha Lydia, glad to meet you. I'm not new, me and what? Sabrina go way back. Hey, Sabrina, remember when Miss Beezer wouldn't excuse you to go to the party until it was too late? Yo, boo. Très charmant. I'm sure we'd love to hear the rest of the story. Perhaps next time. Perhaps ah, uh, so horrible. Her teeth, horrible. They had no glistening sparkle. I, I don't feel well. Oh, no. Don't look. It's terrible. So not sparkly. Ah, oh, Sabrina, I see you've met our new arrival. Oh, how fortunate. Oh, yeah. We're old friends. Marvelous. You know, I was going to ask Gemstone to be Norma's student guide, but since you two are already acquainted, who better to show her the ropes? Hey, huh? great! You mean? Exactly. For the next week, I want you and Sabrina to spend every waking minute together. <laughs> <laughs>
Marina, we were wondering. Yeah. Ah! Her face! Horrible! So horrible! Hey, Sabrina! Wanna see my ant farm? You carry your ant farm with you? I promised I'd take them to the zoo. Hmm. Looks like I made the air holes too big. <gasps> She's loyal and trustworthy and fun to be with. Mm-hmm. So's my beagle. Sabrina, you have just got to get rid of her. She's the biggest social liability since Dandruff. Sabrina, we'd like to have a word with you. It's about your taste in friends. Dear, dear Sabrina, we're only trying to help. Take our advice. If you expect to even have a prayer of trying out for the squad, you'll simply have to jettison that Norma creature. Look. I know she's a little weird. Okay, a lot weird. But you just don't throw somebody away because they don't fit the mold. You do if you want to be a JV cheerleader. <laughs> Hi, all. Hey, Sabrina. You want to hang out after school? I think my hermit crab's having twins. Uh, Norma, this is not a good time. Oh, well, okay. Then how about tomorrow? You can help me build the crib. Um, actually, Norma, I'm sort of busy then, too. In fact, I'm going to be kind of busy for a while. You are? Oh, I see. Sure, sure, I understand. Uh, well, let's see ya. You've made the right decision. Yeah! That's right! So anyway, I just don't know if I made the right choice. I mean, is it wrong to go for something you really, really want, even if it, you know, might sort of hurt someone else? I think you already know the answer to that, Sabrina. <laughs> Wait a minute! Hold on to your broomsticks, folks. I have an idea. What if I could get Norma to try out, too? That would solve all my problems. Huh? Hello, Earth to Sabrina. I think you've got a better chance of getting Hannibal Lecter in the Greendale Chili Fest. But what if I work with her, mold her, do a complete makeover, teach her how to act cool, the works? If the cheerleaders accept Norma, we could still be friends. I could still try out, and I'd be helping her to be more popular. And what if she doesn't want to be more popular? But everybody wants to be popular. Don't you see? I've just been focusing on my own shallow needs when I should have been focusing on her shallow needs. You know, maybe Sabrina's got something with this makeover idea. Then it's settled. First thing tomorrow, we start Operation Norma. But Sabrina... Trust me, Norma, this will change your life. Don't you want that? Uh, I... Of course you do. Now just sit still. <gasps> Sorry, Sabrina. This is worse than we thought. Her geekiness oh. is too overpowering for mortal means. Afraid so. Maybe it's time for more extreme measures. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You know we're not supposed to dip in the spooky jar. We'll get in trouble. We always get in trouble. That's because you always rat us out the second Uncle Quiggly sweats you about anything. Hilda, we're on witch probation. Do you want to stay a teeny bopper forever? Don't you ever want to be green and warty and wrinkled again like we hmm. used to be? Of course I do. Oh, you're right. We better not. Thank you. Now, that's the last I want to hear about the spooky jar. If you'll excuse me, I have homework. Last one of the spooky jars, a rotten dragon egg. It's spooky time. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't like to be disturbed while I'm washing my hair. With just a sprinkle, use this spell to make a geek seem really swell. Her popularity all will praise more and more with passing days. Be well. I hate when it does that. Well, how do you like that? I guess even magic can't take the eek out of geek. 
Oh well. Well, thanks for trying, guys. Come on, Norma. I'll walk you home. Hey, I like your hair. Gee, thanks. Not you. <laughs> or maybe he's on his way to get new glasses. Sabrina, Norma? I see you two are still hanging out. Oh, uh, hi. No, I, uh, Norma and I weren't really. How delightful. Norma, where did you get that adorable outfit? It's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, <laughs> yay! You go, girl! And the hair? You've got to give me the name of your hairdresser. I simply must have those shoes. Huh? The spell, it must be working. She's... She's popular. Hairdresser? What's a hairdresser? Oh, that is so enchanting. Can you show me how to make that delightful sound? What sound? Wow, that spell really works. Hey, looking good. Oh, well, thanks, Harvey. Not you, her. Huh? Hey, Norma, you doing anything Saturday oh. night? <gasps> Ow! Sabrina, what is it with you and my shins? Oh, hello, Spellman. Callista, girls, I just finished paying for all your clothes, and... Not now, Jem. Can't you see we're talking to Norma? You're doing what? <laughs> oh, you mean Norma. Wow, she is so cool. What style, what panache, what charisma. You know, this spell could get annoying. Jem, Sabrina, we've come to a decision. It's unanimous. Our new JV squad member will be Norma. <laughs> of course. It's only right. She's so totally... Norma. Wait a minute. I don't want to join any squad without Sabrina. In that case, what can we say? Of course, Sabrina may join too. We'll have to downsize Cheryl. It's only right. Norma, did you hear that? We're both going to be cheerleaders next year. The pinnacle of eighth grade royalty. We didn't even have to try out. Isn't that great? Yeah. I guess. What? Norma! 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 Oh, wow! Look at that! Did you hear what she said? She's totally cool! Right on! Norma, how's it going, Sabrina? How come you're here by yourself? What happened to your mom <laughs> screaming fans? I had to get away from the ball. They were driving me crazy. I wish they'd just go away. Go away? But, but you're the most popular kid in the school. Maybe in the country. Everyone wants to be cool like you. Yeah, I've noticed. <sighs> you know, I used to like being me. But now that everyone else is just like me, it's no fun anymore. Norma, don't you understand? Being popular is not about fun. Well, then what is it about? Well, it's about, uh, ugh, I'm not really sure, but everybody wants it. Well, maybe you do, but I don't. I'm tired of being popular. I just want to be myself. See ya, Sabrina. Norma! 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 Oh, man, Norma, the spell. Norma, it's not exactly Norma. what I had in mind. It didn't change Norma. It made everyone else like Norma. What have I done? There, there, Sabrina. Huh? It's not what you've done, it's what you haven't done. You haven't become like Norma. Harvey, what's happened to you? You're Norma in pants. Come on, Sabrina. Isn't it time for you to get with the program? You need to be just like Norma too. Join us. Join us. Sorry, Sabrina, but you're on the fast track to Normaville. But I don't want to be like Norma. Well, to quote a 12-year-old who's recently blossomed a pumpkin on her head, it's not what you think of yourself, but what everyone else thinks of you. And we think you need to be more like Norma. Hi, Sabrina. Huh? Got any gum? Norma, why are you tied up? Because even she isn't Norma enough. But she is Norma. 
Apparently, I blast your Storba. Popularity's a funny thing. Don't worry, Sabrina. Soon you'll be just like everyone else. But I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't even want to be cool. I just want to be me. Me! Huh? Well, hey! What happened? Huh? What's happening? What? What? Ew! What am I doing at the geek version of the grind? Uh, I was standing with those icky less are not pretty people. Yeah. Uh, so horrible. Geeks? So what geeks? Horrible. It's just me and Norma ourselves, right, Norma? <laughs> oh, and Callista, Norma and I don't want to be on the <gasps> JV squad. We found out that we don't need to be like everyone else to be cool. <laughs> I seem to have lost my ad collection. Would you help me find it? Well... She'd be happy to. I would? Yes. Come on, Norma. I think I found one already. Jump, jump, jump. What's the matter, Harvey? Lost your taste for mystery meat spaghetti? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I guess. <coughs> well, don't worry. I'm making us a six foot sub for the school picnic tomorrow. You can pick out then. Ooh, very posh. Harvey, if you go to the picnic with me, lunch will be catered by a five-star restaurant. Save it for your friends, Jem. I'm sure you could buy a few before the picnic. Be sure to get an extended warranty. Hey, hey, look, I'm sorry, Jem, but I'm already going with Sabrina. <coughs> but, but if I have any room left over, I'll be happy to eat your picnic, too. Hm. Don't bother. Harvey, I've never seen you eat so slow. Are you sick or something? <coughs> Well, not exactly. I've... I've got an appointment to get my measles vaccination, and I'm uh, not too crazy about shots. But Harvey, that's so silly. You shouldn't be afraid of shots. Whoa, did you say shots? You know, my third cousin got a shot once, and her arm swelled up like a blimp. Took weeks to get it back to normal. Well, almost normal. Really? <laughs> I heard sometimes nurses can't find the vein and the needle gets stuck and they can suck out all your internal organs. I mean, you'd be hollow, man. Cha. Pi, the only thing that's hollow is your head. Harvey, don't listen to him. A vaccination shot is a good thing. It only takes a second and a big strong guy like you will barely feel it. Besides, if you got the measles, you might miss our picnic. You're right, I'm being silly. I think I can manage a little dessert now. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry I'm late, Aunt Hilda. I had to walk Harvey to the clinic. Is he okay? He's fine. He was just a little nervous about getting a measles shot. Can you believe that? <laughs> Myrtles can be such chickens. 
Lucky for me, witches don't get the measles, right? You're absolutely right. We get wick and pox, low broom sugar, cauldron tunnel syndrome, and worst of all, witchitis. Ew, needs more lemons. Not that many. Speaking of which, Itis, we're about due for a booster shot. We haven't had one for 300 years. You're right, and Sabrina's never had one at all. Patoo! Um, uh, sh shot? You want me to get a shot with a needle and, and everything? Is there a problem? A uh, problem? N no, why would there be a problem? Fine, I'll make an appointment now for us to all go see Dr. DeFacto at the Netherworld Clinic. Now? Hey, at least they don't check you for hairballs. I just love that tongue depressor. Say ah. Gah. They said they can get us in right now if we leave immediately. Uh, I just remembered, Aunt Zelda. I have some urgent homework to do. Now, Sabrina, it won't take long. There'll be plenty of time for homework. Not when your writing arm's as big as a blimp. Hey, wait up, you guys! Do you mind? Please sign in. And have a seat. The doctor will be with you shortly. I've never seen it so crowded. Yes, we're expecting a major witchitis season this year. Please be patient. Mr. and Mrs. Hoodoo? Dear, look alive. I'll make room over here. Hey, I'm sitting here. Sorry. Mr. Thorne, you're next. <laughs> Prickly type, isn't he? <laughs> Ow! Zelda and Hilda Spellman. Be right back. <laughs> Salem, what do you think's taking them so long? Probably catching up on the last 300 years with Dr. De Facto. Salem, the doctor will see you. Ugh, I just hope I don't need deworming this time. What a pain. Cousin got a shot once, and her arm swelled up like a blimp. Ew! Gross! Oh, I can't eat. I I'm sure it'll be normal soon. Almost normal. <laughs> Salem! Don't do it, Sabrina. Look what happened to me. <laughs> I'm hollow! Sabrina <laughs> Spellman? Sabrina Spellman? What? Hmm, you got here just in time, Mr. Thorne. I'm afraid you have witchitis already. Now, which chair were you sitting in? That one. We'll have it burned, of course. Witchitis is highly contagious to anyone who's not vaccinated. It's a good thing no one else was sitting there. Whew, that was close. Yeah, hi, Sabrina. I was just making the sandwich for your picnic tomorrow. How was your trip to the doctor? Fine, nothing to it. Oh, Harvey likes lots of mustard and meat and cheese. Right. Well, why don't I start working on the potato salad? 
You think this will be enough? For starters. <gasps> Salem, what happened? Was it bad? I heard you scream. You bet I screamed. You should have seen the bill. Oh, yeah. Sabrina, why did you leave? Yeah, the receptionist said you just disappeared. Uh, uh, right. See, I was waiting so long, I thought I'd better get back to, to help Uncle Quigley with the potato salad. Sabrina, I was doing quite nicely on my own. Hmm, I think we'd better get you another appointment. Zelda, Sabrina can't go back to the clinic. It's an HMO. One visit a year only and no sick people. Aw, oh, gee, too bad. But since Dr. DeFacto is also our old family doctor, maybe he'll come to us. Huh? After all, he used to make house calls during the Black Plague. Uh, listen, <laughs> why run up the Netherworld phone bill? This isn't necessary, really. I'm not going to get witchitis. Hello? Dr. DeFacto, please. I mean, I can only get it from other witches, and you guys are the only witches I've been around, and you guys have already gotten your shots, right? Sabrina, are you afraid of shots? Me? No, don't be silly. I'll go. Maybe in the next century. You won't have to wait that long. Dr. DeFacto will be right over. We can wait for him in the living room. I'll whip up some more lemonade. Heavy on the lemons this time. Oh, and, and use a different pitcher. Sabrina, there's really nothing to be nervous about. Yes, we all got our shots and lived. Yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> How bad can it be? Yeah! <gasps> Ow! <laughs> How does Klaus do this? Dr. DeFacto, thank you for coming to see Sabrina. What was that noise? Oh, dear. I can see why you found me. She's in terrible shape for a teenager. What? Now, see here. Uh... There, there, my dear. Open wide. But... Ow! Much better. Now, take a deep breath. <laughs> well, she sounds awful. It's like there's something stuck down her throat. And I don't like her color one bit. Ah. Uh. Dr. DeFacto, that's not Sabrina. <laughs> this is Sabrina. She just needs a witchitis shot. Why didn't you say so? Very prudent. It's going to be a terrible witchitis season. Now where's my bag? Thanks, my boy. Remind me to give you some salve for that skin condition. Now let's see. Uh, are those blood-sucking leeches? <laughs> of course not. Those went out with the Middle Ages. Now we use blood-sucking squids. Ah, here's the vaccine. Now we'll just need a needle. Whoa. Okay, th that's it. Uh, I think I hear the phone ringing. Yes, it's definitely for me. Be right back. Could you please hold this? It's for lubing my car. <laughs> I'm a real do-it-yourselfer. Ah, here we are. All ready for the little lady. Sabrina! Sabrina! Any sign of her? Nope. She must have snuck out. Can't wait any longer, ladies. I'm late for my golf game. Ah, <sighs> phew. Getting a shot is scarier than any case of which itis could ever be. <sighs> what are you doing in my bathroom? Shh. Is the doctor leaving? Yes, and he won't be back. Now, do you mind? Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Are those dentures? Out! Hey, 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 watch the crockery. Sorry. Extra strength toothpaste. Sandwich, potato salad, fresh coleslaw. All right, looking good for the picnic. I'll be back at noon to pick everything up. <laughs> 
ready for the picnic this afternoon? Yeah, I've got so much food, Harvey's gonna have to go on a diet. <coughs> <coughs> A lot. Are you getting a cold? <clears throat> Chloe, we just don't get colds. Whatever. Come on, we're gonna be late for chemistry. Hey, you smells like rotten eggs. Funny, I can't smell a thing. Kazunai. <laughs> <gasps> oh. <gasps> Uh, uh, maybe I'm not feeling too well, Chloe. Gee, hope you're not coming down with something, Spellman. You might just miss the picnic. Symptoms include green tongue, coughing, sneezing, and fits of involuntary magic. Locker door roll-ups, kangaroo transformations, the old feet where the head should be. Yep, I hate to say it, kid. It looks like you've got witch-itis. Uh, are you sure? Achoo! I'm sure. <gasps> I've got witch-itis so bad! Please watch where you're sneezing. You're doing magic all over the place. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Right, that's the main symptom of witchitis. Every time you sneeze, you do magic without meaning to. And it says here in the book, if you don't get immediate attention, it can turn into hypogermia. Hypogermia? What? What's that? How do I know? I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. I just need some temporary relief. I'm positive whatever I have will go away by itself. But no matter what happens, I just can't miss the picnic. Salem, don't you have anything? Time for the old first aid kit for witches. Here, give your nose a spritz. <coughs> huh? Salem, this says best if used by 1761. Oops, sorry. I said it was an old first aid kit. Try this. Hey, I feel much better. Not nearly as stuffed up. Salem, you're a genius. And I'm off to the picnic. Mwah. See ya. Ooh. No. Chop. <laughs> Mm, this sub is awesome. Hey, you're not eating yours. Uh, maybe later. I'm not that hungry right now. We'll at least have a little coleslaw and potato salad before I polish it off. Knock yourself out. Gee, is it getting hot out here? I don't know. Not really. Hey, are you okay? You don't look so good. Yeah, well, I felt better too. I think maybe I've got a little fever. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Probably just some 24-hour bug. Ah! Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't uh. know. Ah! Hey, that's my lunch. Huh? Ah! It's my faux gras and my caviar. Ah! And I'm out of here. Ah! Whoa, alien life forms are abducting our cold pasta salad. Cool. Chop. Ah! Harvey, just give them your food. Maybe they'll go away. Oh, oh. 
Telemarketing. Hi. It's Salem. Hey, I just found out what hypogermia is. Let me guess. It's giant-sized germs that eat picnics? Well, I see you don't need me. No, I need a doctor. Now! Hey! I need to see Dr. DeFacto right away. I'm sorry, but the doctor's out of the office treating a patient on an emergency call. No, this is an emergency. Can you tell me where he is, please? Say, ah. Doctor, I need your help now. Oh, it's you, Miss Spellman. Well, as you can see, I'm with a patient. But this is an emergency! I've got hypogermia! Hypogermia? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Oh, I saw a horror movie like this, compadre. Ah! How'd it turn out? Ah! Not good. That's it, Doc. Get rid of them. This isn't for them. It's for you. M me? Since they are your germs, they'll only disappear when you're cured. Ah! Get away! Ah! <laughs> Maybe just a little. Hey, Doc, what about my throat? <laughs> ah! That dragon's gonna hear from my lawyer, Spellman. Yeah, Sabrina, how are you gonna explain all of this in that? Uh, well, you see. Don't bother, they won't remember a thing. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, what happened? Last thing I remember, I was eating an awesome submarine sandwich. Uh, must have been a sudden storm. Well, I'm still hungry. Come on, Pie, let's go get burgers. Mmm, <sighs> well, it's a good thing I made extra. <laughs> Too much mustard, but better than kibble. Well, I can see she's feeling better. I just hope she's learned her lesson. Yeah, I totally ruined the picnic and my day with Harvey. And it all could have been avoided if I'd just gotten my shot in the first place. And you know what? The shot didn't even hurt much. Well, this will. It's Dr. DeFacto's bill for emergency road service. <laughs> uh, there goes my allowance for the next century. Now I really feel sick. <laughs> Freaks. Savage, we love you.
Jump de jump jump jump. And when you carry the two, the answer is divisible by 1.935, which is the square root of the lowest prime number. <laughs> What? What was that? I thought I made it clear that there were to be no cellular phone calls received or made in this class. <laughs> Sabrina, I am so disappointed in you. But you just earned a week's detention. Let's see, who's behaving well? Ah, Gemini, would you please go up and solve the problem on the board? Are you gonna stand for that? Not if it was the national anthem. gonna be there till her senior year. Hey, what's with you? That was primo. Oh, it was okay, but I really wanted to do something huge, like make all her hair fall out. So if what you wanted to do was make all her hair fall out, why didn't you just go for it? Because I can't do really big magic, like I don't have the power to change major stuff. Darn it. If I had my full powers, I could have really zonked Gem. You did pretty well. You always do pretty well. Are you kidding? My powers are totally pathetic for a witch my age. Problem is, I never get to practice because I have to keep it all a secret. Well, look on the bright side. You're always going to be way ahead of me, right? <laughs> Greetings, family unit. What's up? Ah! A spellogram from the netherworld. Whoa. Think maybe we won the Poltergeist Clearinghouse sweepstakes? No, it's about Sabrina. Me? What did I do? It's not what you did, it's what you're going to do. The Witches' Council has decreed that it's time for you to go to Camp Wicca. It's boot camp, part of every witch's basic training. All witches must complete their training at Camp Wicca before their 16th birthday. Killer! It's the first step to qualifying for full witchhood. Great, this is going to be fun! I'm so ready to amp up my powers. <laughs> Camp Wicca is two weeks of sheer torture. But if you don't successfully complete it, you'll never get your full powers. Torture? My drill instructor once made me eat pinch bugs for breakfast. Plain! I had to collect all the rat's feet for morning spell practice by myself in an ice storm. Well, I don't care. I'm looking forward to it. For the first time in my life, I'm going to get to hang out with other kids my own age who are just like me. For once, I won't be the weirdo. When do I leave? One transportation spell coming up. Now, I need to pack some outfits. What you need to bring is your wits, Nisi girl. It may be a little extra rough for you. You're probably the first half witch they've ever had at Camp Wicca. They want you to report right away. But the good news is the time is different in the netherworld. You can do two weeks there and still be home in time for school Monday morning. I am so excited. I'm finally on my way to becoming a real witch. This is gonna be such a kick. Most of all, it's going to be a lot of hard work. And you're going to need to do what your mom always told you. Have the courage to stick to it when things get tough. This what, Aunt Zelda. I'm going to ace it. One pair of midget dragons. <laughs> one skull of a pirate. Now, stand back. This is where we get jiggy. Spin in orbit like the sun. Spin until you fuse as one. Looking at the hottest thing to hit the world of witches since bats and the broomstick. Bye now! Great if you survive! Bye! Make us proud! This is a little spookier than I pictured it. Okay, you're not gonna let this get you down, Spellman. You're here to conquer. Blech. Dude, hygiene, look into it. No recruits must report! No! Okay, okay, don't get your wart hairs in a twist.
isn't turning out exactly how I expected. Is it just me, or is this whole look a little busy? Salem, what are you doing here? Just thought I'd drop in to check up on you, and to mock your humiliation, of course. Troops, attention! Presenting your commanding officer, Colonel O.B. Livius! Thank you, thank you, uh, Captain. Oh, oh wait, uh, Corporal. <laughs> Oops, you gave you a little promotion there. <laughs> okay, cadets, uh, welcome to Camp Wicca, your gateway to witchhood. I can't believe how scared I am. Me too. My name's Sabrina Spellman. Pixelia Potionson. And upon graduation, I look forward to handing out the coveted Golden Wart Award to the best cadet among you. Make us proud. I will, Aunt Zelda. And I'm going to do it by winning the Golden Wart. Now then, uh, I think it's time for my nappy poo. So I'll turn you over to the young woman with whom you will be spending every waking minute for the next two weeks. Your drill instructor, Captain Melissa Forthought. <gasps> That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Well, what do we have here? Why, it looks like the biggest group of losers I've ever seen. I don't think any of you stand a chance of completing this training. <laughs> Got something to share, worm? No, not a thing. I was just... <gasps> Spellman. Oh, wait. They told me you were coming. Ow, 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 ow. Troops, I don't believe I've introduced you to the company Oddball. Private Spellman here happens to be the only half-witch ever to go through basic training in the entire history of Camp Wick. Ow! Oh, well, I, I thought she was here. What does that mean, half witch? It means my father is a warlock and my mother is, well, a mortal. A mortal? So who do you live with, witches or mortals? Mortals, mostly. You live in the mortal world? Oh. Like, how do you use your magic there? When do you get to act like a witch? Well, I've never actually met a half-witch before, but I've heard they're all the same. Cowards and quitters. My cousin told me they don't wash and they steal other people's spells. You and everybody like you give me the creeps. How? How can you say that? You just admitted you've never even met a half-witch before. Yeah? Well, I've heard all the stories, and there's no way I'm gonna let somebody like you take her place in the ranks of the true broom riders. I got a hot tip for you. Don't count on graduating. I'm the one who decides who passes and fails basic training. If you don't successfully complete it, you'll never qualify to get your full powers. Oh, this is so not fair! <laughs> I don't know that I've heard tales. I don't know that I've heard tales. Mortals have a funny smell. Mortals have a funny smell. Sorry, Sabrina. Mush! Mush! I've always wanted to say that. I'm not in the mood for humor right now, okay, Salem? If you want to help, just turn into a Jeep and give me a ride. Tisk tisk, you shouldn't sass me. Seems I'm the only one around here you can talk to. I know, and I don't understand why. I thought I'd fit in here, I thought I'd make all kinds of new friends, but nobody will even get close enough for me to talk to. <laughs> they hate me. They don't hate you, they haven't even met you. They're buying into all the stupid stereotypes. So you gotta show them who you really are. And while you're doing it, you gotta keep your head up high. Ah! That is, when you have clearance. Oh! 
<laughs> All right, worms. Get some food and don't take forever. I'm so starved. What's for dinner? This is boot camp. You gotta conjure up your own food. Oh, no. Not more magic. Pizza. Hot pizza. Ugh! Pizza, not pea soup. Let me try again. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. How come it's food? Food, I need food. Oh, it seems the chef has prepared cold cereal and a bag of chips. Well, beats starving. Huh? Ew. What's happening? Ah! I changed it. And if you were a real witch, you could change it back. <laughs> now grab a seat for her left, right, left, right. Move those feet. Your shoes are untied. Make it home with your tail between your legs. All that does is prove her point. I'm going home. You are a coward and a quitter. Look, I'll get my powers, okay? I'll I'll just have to explain things to the witches' council. Yeah, right. Those old bats haven't given anybody a break in 800 years. Face it, it's this or nothing. Well, then I guess it's nothing, because I can't stay here one more day. Now hand me the poison oak. Yeah, right. Don't get me wrong, I'm normally a big fan of quitting, but this isn't the way to go. You need to teach these people a lesson. What if she's right? What if I'm not good enough to be a real witch? Well, if she is, then you're never going to be able to get yourself home, are you? What is that? I'm improvising. Now stand back. If you don't help, you don't get to criticize. Shenanigan. Well, look who's making a mess of a perfectly simple transportation spell. If you wanted to go home, you little wimp, all you had to do was ask. I'd be more than happy to send your sorry self packing. You mean I can go home? On the lightning express. <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of the daughter of a warlock who was tacky enough to hook up with a mortal. That rips it. Nobody takes shots at my parents. My mom and dad are awesome, both of them, and neither one of them would ever run away from a clueless bully like you. And I'm not going to either. Yeah? Well, then, I'm gonna make your next six and a half days a living nightmare. Why don't you just hit the road, quitter? And you're gonna need to do what your mom always told you. Have the cards to stick it out when things get tough. Bring it on, you overgrown iguana. Not only am I going to stay and graduate from this camp, but when I leave, I'm taking the Golden Wart with me. <gasps> we were all afraid, but you actually had the courage to stand up to her. If all half-witches are like you, Sabrina, they must be completely amazing. You'll be sorry for this. You'll all be sorry! Good luck. I'll be rooting for you <laughs> from home.
too bad about what happened to it. All right, worms, inspection time! The Colonel will be here any minute! Nice try, Melissa, but you're messing with the wrong half-witch here. Uh, well, ladies, it's uh, uh, an hour before inspection time. You got me up from my nap an hour early? Do you pay for this, Captain? I'm going to get you, Spellman. Ooh, excellent spirit manifestation spell. Very scary. <laughs> Okay, what will Mom tell me? Stay calm, Sabrina. Don't panic. Think! Ghost spell. Replacing and repairing. Improving and multiplying. Yes! Why, Abe, Albert, it's been forever. Get your ectoplasm over here. <laughs> Good show, soldier. Those powers are coming along nicely. That girl's really going places. Because the right thing to do is to treat people like you'd want them to treat you. I learned that from my mother, the mortal. She also taught me not to judge other people before getting to know them. I don't know you very well, but I do know you're a killer at witchcraft. I think if we were friends, there's a lot I could learn from you. How can you be so nice to me? Like my mom and dad always say, no matter what the outside looks like, inside most people, you can usually find something nice. But you gotta take the time to look. We are so proud of you, Sabrina. Major ditto. Yo! It's okay, Chloe. Just a message from the Witches' Council. Sabrina, it's for you. It's from Melissa. She says she thinks we could be good friends and that she'd love to come and visit sometime. Hey, get her to come now. I mean, who better to really zap Jim once and for all? Hmm, tempting. But nah. I learned a lot about prejudice at camp. Maybe underneath all of Jem's meanness, there's a nice person waiting to be discovered. And just when do you think the chances are of that being true? Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one, Salem. We love you. Cookie time! 